Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies. Today we're check, checking out the Skylon Pin Knock, which is this thing. Now, pin knocks all use the same system, so any pin knock will fit on any pin. It's all universal. Now, knocks come in two, smart, two sizes, small or large. Small for thinner strings, large for larger strings. So sometimes people go, well, what size knock should I get? It's, if you're a compound, you're generally a large groove. Recurve can either be large or small, depending on the thickness of the string and the size of the center serving. Right, so given that, why would you be interested in the Skylon pin knock? Um, now, overall, the quality of it, I'm trying to zoom in on it for you. Um, look, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like the quality of a biter pin knock, okay? It doesn't look like that quality. The, the molding on a biter pin knock is just outstanding. Um, so why would you be interested in this pin knock? Simply because of the price. It's cheaper. It's significantly cheaper than all the other knocks on the market. Now there's other knocks on the market. This is the boning, um, this is the boning pin knock. Um, and it's got the short little things here. Now Easton also do a little short thing here um, at the end here. Um, and that's for their recurve arches, but some of the compound arches use that. Now some of the things with, with pin knocks in general, a lot of arches will say, they break on them, depending on the knot and the bow they're using. So I've had a lot of people say the Eastern knots break and that's not, that's not saying I want to have a go at the Eastern product. I'm just feeding back product. So um, one of the local archers here says, look, his Eastern knocks on his pins are great. Um, on his 60 pound bow at the 70 pound bow, they actually split. Um, one of the archers in New South Wales, um, Dennis, who's a, like a national champion for years and years, said he always has problem with the Eastern knock splitting, and I'm not having a go at Eastern, um, and I sound like I am, but he also claimed he had problems with the bite knock splitting. I'm pretty sure this is from my memory um, when Dennis sort of said, "Look, I'm having problems with these knocks." So people try different knocks out. So Dennis um, in Sydney, was he tried the Eastern knock, um, they split, the Biter knock split for him, um, and he's now using the Fivix pin knock. And I think they've been pretty good for him last I heard. Um, now there can be several reasons why the knocks break. Sometimes the string might be too fat, but I'm gonna say in these two arches who I've just mentioned in their cases, they're very experienced archers, so I'm going to say the knocks wouldn't have been too tight. Sometimes they break on the actual pin itself, so that could be a tuning issue where the knock comes in and hits something. Um, it could be the arrows hitting the arrows, causing the, the cracks. That knocks cracking are an uh, issue, um, so people will change knocks um, for that reason. So now my thing for trying these, there's a couple of things. One's the width of the knock there. Um, so there, the width here. So the Easter knock tends to be a thinner knock, where your Biter knock tends to be a thicker knock. So thicker there. So when you're setting up a compound bow in particular, or even a recurve, the thickness of the knock is important because you don't want it to be too tight. So if you go from a thick knock to a thin knock, there'll be movement. Or if you go from a thin knock to a thicker knock, like a biter, then it won't go on. It'll create pinching on the, it'll create pinching on the D loop and cause some inconsistency and may even cause the arrow to bounce off the rest. So for myself, I was shooting the boning knock and then I went back to the bite, biter knock and then it started pinching because the two little knocking points were too close together. Um, so the Skylon is kind of, it's a copy of your Eastern G knock. So if you're familiar with the Eastern G pin knock, this is the copy of it, which is pretty similar to the Fivix. It's pretty, it's a little bit thinner than the Biter, about the same as your, about the same as the boning pin knock and probably a little bit thicker than your boning, uh, than your Eastern recurve knock in thickness. Now I found the thickness on the string, this is their compound one, I found the thickness on the string 
The biter is a little bit loose on my string and the Skylon one was a little bit tighter. So even though these are all meant to be the same size hole, these were quite tight on my string where the bone is a little bit loose, the biter is a little more loose and this is a little bit tighter. So now was it acceptable? Yeah, it wasn't a big issue for me. Now I haven't shot them that much, I've only shot six arrows with them so far. Um, so we'll have to sort of see how they go longer term. But in the six arrows, I had no cracks. They look, they look okay. I was happy about the way they fitted on the pin. On the pin, they were quite tight. Um, price point is really, really cheap, even for the 25 or the 100 pack. So they come in literally heaps of great colors. Um, they're pretty new on the market. Well, if they are in Australia, because I only just brought them in and I don't think any other shops have brought them in before. Um, they might be common in Europe. I don't know. Um, I just brought them in because I thought they were cheap and the Skyline stuff sends, tends to be selling more for me. So I thought, well, we'll try them out. I've just made new arrows for myself. I put these on just to see how they last and see if I get any cracking and see what the lifetime is. These knocks remind me very much of the McKinney pin knock, which I use for ages and ages and ages. Um, I didn't have any issues with the uh, McKinney pin knock. I did have some people who have cracks on them and other people didn't so anyway Skyline pin knocks um, I'm gonna say price point is great the finish is not as good as like your Eastern or your Fivix or your other a lot of your other companies but the price point is just out of sight my accuracy at 18 meters with them I just made them up seem to be fine they seem to be going all in the middle um, so I had no issues there I'd have to try them out longer distances um, but it, with this sort of stuff, trying out the new knocks, it's just a matter of going out there, shooting lots and lots of arrows, seeing if they crack, seeing how they perform, seeing if I have discrepancies. Look, the thing with the biter pin knock, and the reason why I always go back to them, and you know, this is not taking anything away from Skylon, the reason you go back to a biter is they have a whole bunch of great colors. They are very popular by Olympians and world champions because every knock is produced in the same machine. So every knock is identical. Hence the price is a little bit more. The, the material is really good in the biter system. Um, and that's not taking stuff away from the other companies um, on the market. It's just biter is your premium knock. It's kind of there. Your Skyline's your budget knock. And my question is, is the budget knock going to be okay for my purposes? How's it going to compare overall um, to your Eastern knock? Eastern is still expensive, so Eastern's like a price like your Bider. How's, it going to, how's the Skyline going to compare to the Eastern, because it's a similar product, in longevity? How's it going to thing? Because it looks the same. So overall, in the first instance, fitting it to the pins was perfect. A little bit tighter on the string. And for my first few shots I've shot with it, I had no issues so we're going to test them out for a few weeks of shooting and sort of see how they go so that's a Skylon pin knock um, very good for beginner archers um, they come in various styles also um, so they come in recurve style and compound style large groove small groove so check them out thanks for watching bye